through the Warming Up New Zealand initiative in conjunction with the Green Party. Question number eight, Katrina Shanks. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Veterans Affairs, what is the government doing to meet its commitment to allow fit and able New Zealand World War II veterans to attend key 70th anniversary commemorations overseas? The Honourable Nathan. Mr Speaker, the government has an obligation to do what it can to allow New Zealand veterans to attend significant commemorations of their service while they are still able to do so. 32 veterans who served in the Royal New Zealand Air Force with Bomber Command are scheduled to depart tomorrow to attend the dedication and unveiling of the Bomber Command Memorial in London. The veterans will travel to London by the RNZAF 757, the cost being funded by Veterans Affairs New Zealand. Sending all fit and able New Zealand veterans to the memorial dedication is an appropriate way to commemorate the 1,851 servicemen who lost their lives serving with the Bomber Command and acknowledge the service of the 6,000 New Zealanders who fought for the command. For those unable to attend the London event, a ceremony will be held in New Zealand to acknowledge their service soon. Katrina Shanks. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What other significant overseas 70th anniversary commemorations will New Zealand World War II veterans be able to attend? The Honourable Nathan. Speaker. In addition to the Bomber Command Memorial dedication in London next week, upcoming 70th anniversary commemorations include the Battle of El Alamein in October 2012 for those served in North Africa, the New Caledonia in April 2013 for those who served in the Pacific, and the Battle of Casino in May 2014 for those who served in Italy. Local events for veterans will also be held for those unable to travel overseas. Question number nine, the Honourable David Parker. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What are the Treasury projections for New Zealand's net international liabilities and